from traveling around the world in private jets to dancing with the Queen and even meeting some of the most incredible and recognizable people. What is it really like working for the most famous family in the world? While hundreds of people have served the Queen and other royals, there are very few who rise to the top and become household names. But one person who has succeeded in doing this is Paul Wybrew, otherwise known by his nickname Tall Paul. It is said Wybrew was a near constant presence for the Queen during lockdown and has been praised time and again for his closeness to the monarch. Paul Wybrew has worked closely with the Queen in the royal household for more than 40 years and has earned Her Majesty's trust and respect. Known as Tall Paul because he towered over his former colleague Little Paul Burl when they both worked together, Wybrew is the Queen's page of the backstairs. An early sign of his loyalty came on July 9, 1982 when he wrestled Michael Fagan to the ground after the famous intruder broke into the Queen's bedroom at Buckingham Palace. After calming Fagan down, he offered him a whiskey. The courtier was also given pride of place at the Queen's side when she took part in the now legendary cameo with Daniel Craig as James Bond in a sketch for the Olympic Games in 2012. When the Queen was at Windsor Castle during lockdown and while she recovered from her recent bouts of ill health, she was ably supported by a close-knit team which was dubbed HMS Bubble. It was understood that Wybrew was at her side and had even been watching television with her and Angela Kelly, Her Majesty's dresser. Love the Royals. Sign up for the Mirror's daily newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen, Charles, Kate, Wills, Meghan, Harry and the rest of the firm. Click here to sign up. Kelly is also incredibly close to the Queen, having worked for her for more than 25 years. She is the first person to hold the title of personal assistant, advisor and curator to Her Majesty the Queen, jewelry, insignias, and wardrobe, and is behind some of the Queen's most iconic outfits. Angela has created some of the Queen's most famous looks and gained much attention when she made a duplicate of the iconic Royal Hunnet in lace christening gown as the original had to go into conservation. In 2019, the dresser released her book, the other side of the coin, the queen, the dresser and the wardrobe and it is full of heart, warming anecdotes about their close relationship. In a recently updated copy of the book, Angela revealed how she had been in Her Majesty's bubble during lockdown in Windsor Castle and had cut her hair. She wrote, From March 2020 onwards I washed the queen's hair every week, set and styled it, and even trimmed it when needed. My team named it Kelly's Salon. She added, the Queen knew I was nervous, and during the first two weeks I was shaking. I had only done her hair once or twice before while on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. The Queen was so kind as she advised me on the very specific way to put the rollers in. As I grew in confidence I'm sure the Queen thought I was a professional and started shouting at me, don't do that, do it this way. That's right, you've got it, don't change it. I was thinking, goodness me, I need a gin and tonic. So while the Queen was under the dryer I said to her, I'm off for a stiff drink because this is so stressful, getting it just right for you.